problem you gave me, I believe what you need me to do is solve the integral because it looks like it's an arc length type problem and it's already been put in integral format uh, to solve for the arc length. So what I did here, and I'm not sure if you, you can actually, are you allowed to do this or not, but what I did here is I used the integration table in the back of the Larson Calculus 10th edition textbook and if you look down it through the the different integrals you'll find something in the integration table number 26 that looks similar to what we have here not exactly but it looks similar okay and what we're gonna do in this problem and I'm just assuming you're allowed to use these integration tables if not you're gonna have to send me an email and tell me you're not and then I will uh, show you a different way to do this but Assuming we're allowed to use the integration tables, we need to get this here, this problem, to look like this right here. And then we can just plug and chug and solve for it that way. Um, because it's telling us what this type of integral is equal to. So, uh, rewrite what we have. We have, let me zoom out too. So it's, we have, let's start over here, L which I'm assuming it means the arc length of the integral 0 to 2 square root 1 plus 4x squared with dx on the outside there. All right, so we need to look need it to look like that u squared plus a squared. Well, if we let u well, we'll start with a. If we let a equal the 1 or we could also say the square root of 1, which is 1. Um, that'll cover for our a squared. Now if we let u equal 2x, and remember when we do u substitution, we need a du. So du equals 2 dx, and solving for the dx, divide both sides by 2. Now we can actually plug this in and make it look like our integration table. So we can write... L equals the integral. I'm not going to change my bounds because I'm going to change it back at the at the end. Um, if you want to change your bounds, that's fine. I don't like to do that. I like to uh, to always put it back in, in the original variable before I solve it. But anyways, integral zero to two square root. Uh, we have u squared because I'm going to write it over there like uh, like we have here. So we have u squared, and we have a plus sign, so it's plus a squared, right? Because 1 squared is 1, uh, 2x squared is 4x squared. Oops, and I forgot. Oh, that sucks. All right, I forgot my 1 half. Now we have 0 to 2 uh, square root u squared plus a squared a squared and then du right we need to do that because we we did a u substitution and uh, with that u substitution came along with that that one half that we had to pull along with our integral all right so now now we have it and it looks like our integration table formula okay so now that it looks like our formula we can plug in our u's and a's so we can write l equals one half integral zero to two square root u squared plus a squared and this is going to equal and I'll write up here remember our u equals 2x a equals 1 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this formula here so we have 1 half this is the 1 half carried along times another 1 half that's the one half in our formula. 
and we have all this here and I'll go ahead and uh, write it as it's written there just so you can, can see what we're doing exactly u u squared plus a squared because we're, we're dealing with plus signs in this problem plus a squared and this is just the the formula from the integration table ln absolute value u plus square root not a good square root square root u squared plus a squared and all this is going to be evaluated as x goes from 0 to 2 so since I'm doing it in x I'm going to go ahead and turn all my u's turn all my u's and a's into my what I have substituted for my variables up here. So now we have that this integral equals this from our integration table. So now this is going to turn into 1 fourth and our u is 2x square root 2x squared is 4x squared plus a squared which is just 1 plus a squared is 1. I'm not even going to write that. It's just going to take up room because 1 times something is that something. So ln absolute oops uh, u is 2x plus square root of 4x squared plus 1. And this again now that we have it in our uh, x variable we're evaluating it once more on 0 to 2. So now we can go ahead and do the evaluation. And I'll go ahead and write that out. So f of b minus f of a. So right now we're going to evaluate it at 2. So 1 fourth. 2 times 2 is 4 times the square root. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17 plus ln. Uh, we don't even need to put the absolute value. This is all positive. So ln 4 plus square root 17. So f of b minus f of a. So now we're going to do uh, evaluate all the x at 0. Well, just looking at this. We see that this is all multiplied by an x, everything here. So that's all going to go to 0. That's a really good arrow. Uh, and then over here, well, that'll be 0. That'll be 0. So it's going to be ln of square root 1, which is going to be ln natural log of 1. Uh, natural log of 1 is 0. So we really have to just write minus 0 because that 0 ends up zeroing everything out. And you can go through the long process of checking that, but... I'm pretty confident that everything there will end up as being zero. So now we're left with this. And I don't know if uh, I think it's Professor Toma, but I don't know if Professor Toma wants you to simplify this. If she does, it's not going to be a, a very nice number. Um, and what I went ahead and did, I can't, I don't have any of the tools to pull my calculator on screen. But I did plug this into Mathematica, and I checked my answer. So let me make sure I wrote it in here right. 1 fourth, 4 times square root 17 plus 1 plus 17. 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 4 times square root. Okay, so up here, what I did is I wrote the integral as we're given it, and Mathematica just solved the problem in two steps, which it gave me this weird decimal. And then when I wrote what I solved, Four, right here, the one fourth of four times the square root of seventeen plus the natural log of four plus square root seventeen, I got the same answer. Therefore, uh, as far as I can tell, that answer is correct. So if you just wrote L, we'll write the whole thing out once more. L equals uh, the integral zero to two square root. 1 plus 
for x squared dx equals, and this is the answer, 1 fourth 4 times the square root of 17 plus ln natural log 4 plus square root 17 and I believe that is the answer right there okay so right here is the answer um, I hope I was clear enough on that just let me know if there's uh, if there's any issues with it if you want me to explain something further again really what I did to solve this problem is I just looked in the back of the book found the integration table that I believed I could use manipulated the function here to look like the integration table so I could use it exactly and once I have it in my exact form of the integration table I just look at the integration table and it tells me what to write it out as and then for me some people like to solve it in still in their u substitution I just turned it back into x's solve the original integral and uh, at the end of it this is the answer I get so any questions just send me an email